Keegan Cogan at 810, we're going to do some political cartoon analysis. And uh, seems to be a common theme on how they felt about FDR. Yeah. Uh, a lot of these political cartoons. You know, we, we first have to break down some imagery here. You know, we've got a patient, yes. you know, sitting in a chair. This is the 1930s when doctors made house calls. You have your little doctor's kit. Yes. Um, most children remember their little first doctor's kit. You get the stethoscope, you get to listen to your heartbeat, you know, the fake needle where you give yourself shots and stuff like that. And we have a nurse, sick patient, doctor, nurse. And of course, the doctor saying, of course, we may have to change remedies if we don't get results. So you see remedy being used here and remedy being used here. So remedy must be something that makes you feel better. Some sort of a cure. Some sort of a cure. So if we have the patient here that you pointed out is Uncle Sam, he's obviously sick. You know, nothing physically debilitating. I don't see any, you know, crutches or anything. But he's sitting there, he's got his hands there. That this He's got like his robe on. Robe on. You know, we, know, we know it's Uncle Sam from the beard. He doesn't have his top hat, but he no. does have the pants with the stars and stripes, socks and stripes. Even the, the slippers say U.S. for Uncle Sam. So then when we look there, you have all these different remedies because he's suffering from the depression. Um, so all of these remedies right here are going to be part of his New Deal programs. And of course, the three goals for that are relief, recovery, and reform. Exactly. And of course, these New Deal program bottles that are right here, that it's even bigger in terms of how many New Deal programs he had. Yeah, the with. whole alphabet soup of New Deal programs. FDR was once quoted as saying, um, Try something. Right. It, it, you might fail, it doesn't matter, but do something, which was a complete 180 from Herbert Hoover yeah. and his whole laissez faire, hands off, let the economy just recover that whole economic cycle. And when he gets into office, of course, FDR surrounded himself with a bunch of, I like to call them nerds or the brain trust. Yep. You know, these were economic advisors who were going to help him get out of it. You know, even the NRA being a much bigger bottle. Right. You know, almost the foreshadowing that the NRA will be declared unconstitutional for yep. being too powerful. And then, of course, we got the Congress in the background. But willing to help. Willing to help. Willing to help FDR. And the thing is that with other political cartoons, I mean, here you have a different one. You know, he's being seen as a doctor. Again, the United States is a patient. Um, FDR is shown standing up, um, which is something that you often don't see. And again, you look here, here he is as a patient again. We have banking, banking crisis, banking war crisis. debt, depression, stock market. Confidence your doctor has helped the bat half the battle. And of course, with the banking crisis, when he first gets into office, it's the first thing he deals with. And it almost reminds me of like, how did FDR try to gain people's confidence? Well, he sat down with you. Yeah. You know, once every few months in your home with those fireside from, chats. From his living room, yep. speaking of living room, yep. from his living room, just explaining it to you. Not insulting your intelligence, just explaining it to you in simple terms. This is why we need... And the, and the fact that the radio, because like presidents before this, if they were speaking, they had to like bellow their voice. Right. Almost yell at people. Yes. To get people to hear them. They had to really project <clears throat> yeah. in terms of that. You know, yeah. even you picture Abraham Lincoln giving the Gettysburg sure. address without microphone. Without exactly. Oh, Scott, right. Yeah. It's just, you know, but now he's just sitting down in your home. He's like, hey, everyone, I'm going to tell you about the banking crisis. Chilling out. Yeah. And then, you know, another cartoon again, you know, you have Uncle Sam. All that know. alphabet soup again, all yep. the New Deal programs. Uncle, I'm surely... Expecting something. I almost yes. wonder if the, 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 the teddy bear's thrown here for like Roosevelt. I'm his cousin. Pretty sure. You I'm know. pretty sure because he did look up to him and idolize yep. them. I mean, they, their careers almost mirrored each other. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, you know, he's the assistant secretary of the Navy at one point. Anything else we need here? No, we're good. Nice watch.